Consider the following 11 data points. Find the mean, median, 25th percentile, 75th percentile, minimum, maximum, range, and mode. We will start with the mean. The mean is the average of the data points. So to find that, we are going to add all 11 points together. And when we add those up, the sum comes out to be 804 and 4 tenths. Now, to find the average, we would say, okay, they add up to 804.4, but there are 11 of them. So I'm going to divide by the 11 data points, and I will end up with 73.127. And I just went to, uh, to the nearest thousandths. Um, you will want to make sure you pay attention to the rounding rules specified in the problem and follow those accordingly. So there is the mean. The average data point is 73 and 127 thousandths. As we move on to the median, 25th percentile and 75th percentile, you will notice I put my 11 data points in order least to greatest. Um, here I separated them by a comma simply because there are decimal points within the numbers and I wanted to make sure to not um, have any confusion of where my numbers are. So the median is the number in the middle. So to find the number in the middle, we're going to use what I call the slash method. Take the biggest and the smallest number and slash them out. Then go in and do the next biggest and smallest. Work your way in until you get to the middle number. And in this case, you will see 71.4 is slashed directly through. And therefore, my median is 71.4. So that is the halfway point. You can think of it as the 50th percentile, where 0 is over here and 100 is on the end. So when you're thinking about the 25th percentile, 25 is halfway between 0 and 50. So I'm looking at, to find the 25th percentile, the median of my front set of numbers. So I'm going to do the same thing. I've, uh, I've diagnosed, for lack of a better word, uh, coming to mind right now, uh, the front half, and I'm going to use my slash method there as well. So biggest and smallest, just in the front half, and you'll notice I am left with 69.9 as my 25th percentile. So 25% of the data, right, is less than 69.9. Is basically what this means. Now the 75th percentile deals with the upper half. And again, we use, uh, we need to find the median, so we use the slash method. So smallest, largest, smallest, largest, working our way in. And I come up with 78.3. So 75% of the data is less than uh, or equal to 78.3. 25% of the data is bigger than that. Now, one thing I always uh, tell my students to double check when you're talking about um, percentiles, the 25th, 50th, 75th breaks your data up into four equal parts. So you'll see in this first chunk, before the first vertical line, there are two numbers. In between the next two vertical lines, there are two numbers. The next two, two numbers, and at the end, two numbers. That should be true always because your data is being broken up into four equal pieces. So it's just a kind of an easy way to check and make sure that you haven't put a vertical line somewhere that it doesn't belong. All right, and now to find the last four pieces. The min, max, range, and mode um, are easier to come across if you have your numbers uh, listed in uh, numerical order, right? least to greatest. The minimum is always the smallest, so our minimum is 65.3. Our maximum is always the biggest, 81.3. So you can see how it's easier if they are in order because uh, you just look at the, the smallest and the biggest. You don't have to dig through all of your data. Now the range is the difference between the biggest and the smallest. So I take my maximum, I subtract my minimum, and I have a range of 16. The mode is the number that appears most often. So when you look through, 65.3 is there once, 68 once, 69.9 once, 74.3 is there three times. One, 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 one. Because 71.4 is there three times, my mode is 71.4.